Hi friends, I'm David from David O Yoga and welcome to day 26 of your 30 day yoga challenge. Today it's a vinyasa flow with a little extra love for your abs and your core, which include the deeper muscles of the abdominal region, your transverse abdominus, very important muscle, and your hips and your back. And all of these things are so, so important to your overall health and wellness and the amount of joy that you experience in this body, right? So let's reconnect to some of that joy. Let's begin in a comfortable seat. And as we've been doing uh, to begin practice today, we're going to sit with our breath using a mudra. And mudras are hand positions that help us to awaken and cultivate certain energies. And today we're working with Vishuddha mudra. Vishuddha mudra helps us to cultivate mental clarity. It helps us to uh, reconnect with a sense of spaciousness. On a physical level, it helps to realign the cervical spine and relax the neck and the jaw and the muscles of the face. And on a deeper level, it helps us to reconnect with our innate wholeness. The essence of who you are is whole. It's complete. There's nothing missing, right? And you, we, are in union with all of creation. And this is exciting. And this mudra helps us to reconnect with the felt experience of that, okay? So how do you make Vishuddha mudra? Super simple. You take the tips of the fingers, we flip the palms to face up, and the tips of the thumbs come to the base of the ring finger. And you'll notice when you do that, the ring fingers lift a little bit. That's fine. Just let the ring fingers go where they want to go. <laughs> and then the other fingers extend gently outward. And you lay the back of the palms on your knees or your thighs, and close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose, and out through the nose. Feel yourself fully present, so your attention and your awareness gathering more and more to this moment. Continue breathing in and out through the nose. Feel your sit bones grounded to the earth beneath you, the spine tall, the shoulders relaxed. And begin to relax the muscles of your face, your eyes relax, your cheeks relax. your jaw and your tongue, from the tip of the tongue all the way down to the root. Relax and soften. Every exhale, feel tension dissolving into the breath, leaving the body. Every inhale, a growing sense of space clarity and presence. And let's say this silent mantra together. I am innately and eternally whole and complete and no experience in my life can ever change that. Any impression that I am not worthy or less than is only in my mind. I open myself to fully accept and fully experience the joy of who I really am. I am eternally whole and complete. Let's sit for a few moments in silence and let those words and the energy of those words make its way to our heart. Blink your eyes open. 
All right, extend your legs wide in a wide leg seat. So root the sit bones down, lift up tall through the spine, flex your feet, and tent your fingertips up, and we're just gonna walk the heart forward. So nice long spine as we come forward. I like to rock back and forth a little bit, <laughs> so if that feels good to you, do it. And as soon as you feel a little bit of resistance, st stop and breathe. Maybe close your eyes, breathe it in, feel the sensation. And then you choose, either you can stay there, or you continue to take it further, nice and slow, finding your fullest expression, wherever that may be. Maybe you come down to your elbows, maybe you come down flat as a pancake, maybe you're up on your hands, all is good, right? Listen to your body and just relax into the shape, nice and slow. Let your head hang down. The upper back can round softly. Breathe into it. Nice and easy. As you inhale, slowly rise. Bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right leg. Keep the right leg extended. And the right hand comes down inside the right shin. Take your left hand up to the sky, and we're going to open and get a nice stretch in the low back on the left side. And you can walk your right hand forward a little bit here, maybe even coming down to the elbow, binding the big toe if that feels good. And bring that left hand behind your head. Press the head back a little bit, reach your elbow to the sky, spiral the heart open and feel that nice stretch in the bottom left quadrant of the low back. That's your QL muscle, your quadratus lumborum, the muscle that lives just under the bottom rib and just above the top of the hip on your back. As you inhale, slowly rise. Bring the left hand behind you. Reach the right hand up and over. Stargazer pose. Big breath as you push your heart to the sky. Exhale, slowly come down. And let's do the other side. Left leg grows long and the sole of the right foot comes in. Right, left hand to the inside of that shin and the right hand up to the sky. And then walk the left hand forward. Little bit, little bit. Again, maybe coming down to the elbow, binding the big toe, only if that feels good. And bring the right hand behind your head. Push the head back just a little bit. Reach your elbow to the sky and breathe. Feels good in the low back, right? Keep both sit bones rooted down here, especially the right sit bone as you twist and open. And inhale, rise up, bring the right hand to the mat behind you, lift the left fingertips, press into the ball of the left foot as you reach through the left fingers. Big, long, straight line, big breath. Exhale, slowly come down. Let's take one more fold here, both feet together, a little closer than hip distant, Paschimottanasana. Root the sit bones, reach up tall. And as you exhale, we fold, easy not forcing anything. And as you continue to fold, a little bit of an internal rotation with the legs, so turning the knees in, spread your sit bones apart on the mat as you fold. And just take it down nice and slow. Finding the place where your body says that's the place, right? That place between effort and ease where you feel an opening, but you're not forcing it. Inhale, slowly rise. Let's take a nice, nice little counter stretch here. Hands and feet come down, bend into the knees, lift the hips, let the head fall back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Lower your sit bones and sweep your legs around behind you. Let's come to tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, back to downward dog. We'll take a few breaths here and pedal your feet. Bend one knee, drop the opposite heel down to earth. 
and slowly coming to stillness in your downward dog, let's play with some spinal waves here. So slowly wave forward into plank pose. Let the wave ripple through the spine. And then from plank pose, begin to bend the knees, dipping your knees down to the mat, but don't touch the mat. And as you do, sink the hips back to the heels, press the mat away from you, lift the tailbone and wave back to downward dog. Again, wave forward to plank, dipping the knees, send the hips back to the heels, push the mat away from you, lift the tailbone to downward dog. Now let's do that in a more dynamic pace with the breath, okay? So we wave forward to plank. The knees bend and the hips come back. Tailbone lifts to downward dog. Moving with our breath, just like this. Nice, beautiful waves, feel it rippling through the spine. It's like a, a really beautiful version of cat cow. In a way, we're taking the same kind of movements in the back, but now we're using the whole spine and the hips and the core. A couple more times. Exhale as the tailbone lifts. Inhale as you come forward to plank, this time holding plank pose. So from plank, wrap the elbows in and feel the weight come into the index finger and thumb. Feel the crown of the head reach forward and the heels draw back. So the spine is nice and long. And from here, let's come down to forearm plank. Oh yeah, my favorite, right? <laughs> from forearm plank, press into the finger pads, the elbows and the forearms so much that you feel the upper back dome a little bit and make like a baby cat shape. Draw the navel in so the belly is kind of hollowed out here. As you inhale, press back up to plank pose, and as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. And that little sequence there is so great to activate the core. Untuck the toes, slide the hands back, cobra pose, press into the heels of the palms, push the heart forward, exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. We come forward, tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Feet together, take your right heel up to the sky and slowly walk your hands back to the standing foot for a standing split at the back of the mat. Keep the hips and the chest square to the mat here. So you're lifting the right heel but dipping the right hip. As you exhale, draw the right knee into the chest, squeeze it in, inhale, take the heel to the sky. Lift and squeeze the glute. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lift the heel, press it up to the sky, squeeze the glute. One more time, knee into chest. One more time, lift it up, feel the glute engage, and then float that foot all the way down and take a bow. Nice, bend into the knees, wave up the spine. And as you inhale, hands to the sky for a little baby chair pose. Just gonna be here for a moment, nice and deep. Inhale, rise, hands fall to the sides as you bow. Inhale, walk the hands back to the top of the mat, downward dog. Feet together, take your right heel up to the sky, nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in, shift forward. Plank pose, keep hugging the knee in, and then step through between your hands. Peel the right hand up to the sky, revolved lunge. Bring that right hand down, back to a low lunge, and the left knee comes behind the front knee for a curtsy, wing the arms back. Inhale, step tall and strong, mountain pose, hands to the sky, palms meet and slice right down through the center line of the body. Inhale, halfway lift, step back to plank pose, and let's hold our plank shape for a few breaths here. Again, wrap the elbows in, weight to the index finger and thumb, little baby cat shape in the upper back, draw the navel in, hollow the low belly, and let's come down to the forearms and the elbows. All right. From here, we're gonna do some knee to tricep touches in forearm plank. I know, it's your favorite pose, you're excited. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right knee comes forward, and then roll over that left toe all the way to touch the right knee to the right tricep. Step back, same thing on the left side. Left knee comes forward, roll over the right toe. Left knee touches the tricep, step back. One more time on the right. Right knee forward, roll over the left toe, touch. And on the left, left knee comes forward, roll over the right toe, touch. Right back to forearm plank, press up to plank pose, 
and as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. Awesome work, y'all. Untuck the toes, slide the hands back, cobra pose. Open up the heart here. Yes, exhale lower, and hips to heels. Child's pose. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips. Downward dog, bring the feet together, and take that left heel up to the sky. Slowly walk the hands back to the standing foot for a standing split on this side. Again, leveling out the hips and the chest here. Draw the left knee into the chest, squeeze it in. Inhale, take that heel back up to the sky and squeeze the glute at the top. Yes, knee to chest. Inhale, take the heel high, squeeze the glute. One more time, knee in, and one more time, heel lifts. Feel the glute engage and float that foot all the way down. Take a bow. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. Inhale, reach into the sky. Little baby chair, just for a moment. Nice and deep though, right? Inhale, rise, and the hands fall to the sides as we swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat, downward dog. Feet together, take your left heel to the sky nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in. Shift forward into plank, keep hugging the knee in, and step through low lunge. Take your left hand up to the sky, open the heart, gaze to the lifted hand, revolved lunge. And the left hand comes back down to a low lunge, curtsy. Right knee behind the left, wing the arms back, send the heart forward. Inhale, we step tall and strong, hands to the sky, and chair pose. Here we go. We will go from mama or baby chair to mama chair. <laughs> so relax into it, soften. Some of you have written comments saying how much you just thoroughly enjoy chair and how you wish we could do it so much longer. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Breathe. One more big breath in. Exhale, fold and empty. Nice work. Halfway lift. Step the left foot way back to a low lunge. Lift the heart off the front thigh and take your hands up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Nice and deep in that front knee bend, or the front thigh rather. Exhale, twist, open to the right. Reach the right fingertips back, ring the core out. Flip the front palm and reverse, take it up and back. As you inhale, palms come to the heart, turn to face the front, and let's glide forward into one leg mountain pose. From here, right into tree pose. Sole of the left foot inside the right thigh, and, and this time we interlace the hands behind the low back. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart, and feel the four corners of the foot pressing into the earth, and the heart and the crown of the head lifting into the sky. Breathe. Keeping your hands bound, hinge forward from the hips right into warrior three. Lift the left heel, dip the left hip. So the hips and chest are square to the earth. Draw the knuckles toward that lifted heel. Breathe. From here, release the bind of the hands and we float back to a low lunge. Hands come down, frame the front foot. Left foot comes down to the earth. Take your front foot back and up to the sky. Three-legged dog, bend the knee and stack the hips open. Slowly, the right knee comes to the very top of the right tricep, touch, hold, and then sweep that knee across the front of the body to the left tricep, touch and hold. Now extend the right leg out to the side, lift the hips, fall in triangle, take your left hand up to the sky, press into the right hand. As you exhale, lower your butt all the way down to the ground, bringing your feet together, come to a seat facing the back of your mat. Come all the way down to your back, okay? So maybe you can't see me, you're facing the back of the mat, but you can hear me, so just listen to the cues. Draw the knees into your chest. Take a moment here. Now, keeping the knees drawn in, we're gonna work into what I call hollow belly leg extensions. The most important part of this exercise is the position of the upper body and the engagement of the core. So. Arms along your sides, lift your head, lift your shoulders, and begin to curl the upper body in so that the nose is drawing toward the knees. 
just, just enough so that you feel the core strongly engaged. And now draw the navel into the spine. Keeping that shape, extend the legs out 45 degrees. Point the toes, draw the knees in. Really curl the, knee, or curl the nose rather into the knees. Extend the legs and draw them in. So you're just taking the knees in and out, extending the legs out and in, keeping the upper body lifted here, keeping the uh, core engaged. As you inhale, extend the legs. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale, knees into the chest. A couple more times. Keep the shoulders lifted here. Keep the head lifted. Keep the core engaged. Extend. And knees in. Extend. And now take the hands straight up to the sky. And hold for four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Draw knees into chest. Rock and roll. Up and down. Coming to a seat facing the back of the mat. Open the right leg wide to the right and bring your right hand down to the mat. Press and lift your hips. So now we're back to that fallen triangle shape and sweep the right foot under the left and up to the sky. Three-legged dog facing the front of the mat. Nice. Step that right foot through between your hands and step the back foot to meet the front foot. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. As you inhale, reach into the sky and let's find a nice deep chair pose once again. Utkatasana. Relax the shoulders, breathe, soften, and feel. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Feel the sky and a sense of space in your heart and above your head. And relax the face. One more big breath in. Exhale, fold. Empty it out. Nice work. Halfway lift. Step the right foot way back to a low lunge. Lift the heart off the front thigh. Wing the arms back. Inhale. Take the hands to the sky. Crescent lunge. Let's stay here for a breath or two. Feeling into the strength of that front thigh. And as you exhale, twist open to the left. Reach the left fingertips back. Ring the core out here. Breathe. Flip the front palm, take it up and back. Flip it, reverse it. Inhale, hands to the heart, palms meet at the heart. And let's glide forward into one leg mountain pose. Lift the right knee, and then right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh for tree pose. Interlace the hands behind the low back, draw the knuckles down, and feel that connection with earth. Press into the four corners of the left foot, Lift up through the heart, through the crown of your head. Breathe. Slow it down. Relax. Feel your gaze rest softly on something stable. Keeping the bind of the hands here, we hinge forward into warrior three. So lift the right heel, dip the right hip, and draw the knuckles toward that lifted heel. Hold the shape, breathe, keep breathing, <laughs> and then release the bind of the hands. We float down to a low lunge. Right foot comes down, hands frame the front foot. Step that front foot back and up to the sky, three-legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips open. Slowly left knee to the top of the left tricep, wrap the elbows in, touch the tricep, and then sweep the knee across the front of the body, touch the right tricep. Extend the left leg out to the side, fall in triangle. Take your right hand up to the sky, push into the left hand, lift the hips. As you exhale, slowly lower your butt all the way down, coming to a seat, facing the back of the mat, and all the way down to our back. Once again, for some hollow belly leg extensions. Okay, arms along your sides, draw knees into the chest. Curl the upper body up so you're, it's like a little crunch, right? You're crunching the muscles of the abs here, and you want to feel that. So draw the navel in. Now, keeping that little crunch shape, extend the legs straight out. 
Point the toes, draw the knees in. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, extend the legs. And exhale, draw the knees in. As you draw the knees in, lift the upper body a little bit more, crunch it. Beautiful, a couple more times. Exhale as the knees come in. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale in one more extension. Take it out long. Draw the knees in. I lied, one more extension. <laughs> and now take the arms straight up to the sky. Keep lifting the upper body here. So you wanna feel the crunch in the low belly. Hands reaching to the sky, shoulders and head lifted, nose pulling to the toes here. One, two, three, exhale, knees into chest, rock and roll, nice job. Rocking up and down, forward and back, coming to a seat facing the back wall. Open the left leg wide to the left, bring the left hand behind you to the mat, press into the left hand, lift the hips. Right hand to the sky, we're back to the fallen triangle shape. Now, sweep the left foot under the right and up to the sky as the right hand comes down. Three-legged dog facing the front of the mat. Step that left foot through between your hands, low lunge, and step the back foot to meet the front foot. Let's take a fold at the top of the mat here. Pashimotan or Parangustasana, rather. So peace fingers, grab the big toes here as you inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. You can start with bent knees here and begin to straighten the legs slowly as you fold. And a little internal rotation of the legs here. So turning the knees in and spread your sit bones open as you deepen into the fold. Inhale, release the bind of the toes, bend the knees, wave up the spine, reach your hands to the sky, palms meet for a moment, and then open your wings, swan dive, empty the breath. Let's go through one more vinyasa here, halfway lift, step back plank pose, and your choice, you can lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Lift your heart, draw the shoulders back. As you exhale, lift the hips, back to downward dog, or child's pose to downward dog. We'll meet in downward dog. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. Come down to your knees and let's find child's pose together. Nice work, awesome job. Rest your forehead, relax, breathe. Your core, your abs, your hips. They thank you <laughs> for paying attention and giving them the love that they deserve because they do so much work for you. And sit back to your heels. Sweep the legs around in front. And let's come to our back for a little reclined pigeon to wrap it up, figure four. Bend into the right knee, right foot comes down and the left ankle to the right thigh. Flex the left foot and draw the right knee into the chest. You can interlace your hands behind the right hamstring or in front of the right shin as you draw the right knee in. Close your eyes. Slow it down. Feel your breath. And feel the weight of your body grounded. And relax your shoulders, your whole spine, all the way down to the hips, the sacrum. And just breathe into all the places you feel sensation here. And as you exhale, release the hands and let's switch it up. Left foot comes down, right ankle to the left thigh and draw that left knee in. Again, close your eyes, flex the right foot. And just allow your body to find its own way here. Sometimes one side feels so different, right? 
We want to label the experience. This is my bad side. I'm not this. I'm not that. Well, I invite you to let that inner voice go. (laughs) Just breathe and enjoy the experience, whatever it may be. As you exhale, release your hands. Take the feet up in the air. Let's end with a sweet, happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Gently push the heels up to the sky and gently pull the knees down toward the armpits. A little sway side to side here. Breathe. Eyes closed. Giving yourself the gift of being present in your body. Letting the mind rest. It's a beautiful thing, this practice. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. (sighs) Release the feet and melt into Shavasana. Begin to bring some movement to your fingers, your toes, your wrists, and your ankles. As you inhale, stretch and wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel your whole being coming alive with new possibilities, a new beginning for today. Draw your knees into your chest, roll to your right side, and slowly push yourself up to a seat. Palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Let's close our practice together 
with the healing sound of Om. Let this vibration of your voice wash through your body and feel the connection with all the other voices that are oming with you. Great big breath in. Aum. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow and we bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. If you did, please click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know when all the good stuff comes out. And if you'd like to keep this practice going with a little bit more cool down and rest, click the yin practice next to me. It'll give you all of that and more.